Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and we are doing something a little different in today's video. We will actually be going through all of the cards that I intend to send off to grading and as you can see it is a very hefty chunk of cards and everything is in here. There's a mix of Dragon Ball, Weiss Schwartz, Pokemon, both vintage and modern. So yeah, let's have a look and see what we have. Also, at the end of this video, I will be announcing the giveaway winner who will receive a nice, juicy, sealed booster box of Saiyan Showdown. So stick around until the end to find out if you won. Okay, here we go. So first up, we are starting off strong with my boy Gohan. Oh my goodness. So happy with all of these pulls. So yeah, this is all the Sun Gohan Youth cards from Raging Raw, the latest Fusion World set. And yes, I have two SCRs because one I pulled myself, the other one I actually bought because I wasn't that confident in the one that I pulled actually getting a 10. But then when I looked at the one that I bought, I'm actually not that confident in it getting a 10 because the number in the corner is pretty off. So I'm actually going to submit both and just do an experiment and see which one will actually grade better. Hoping both will get 10s, that would be awesome. Yeah, very nice set of Gohan cards right here. Oh my gosh, that's going to look so dope when they come back. Okay, we have a nice little set here again. This is some vintage Pokemon. So we have Ghastly, Haunter, and the non holo Gengar, all from Sky Ridge. Okay, next up, oh, we have some more Pokemon. So I believe, yeah, this is from Silver Tempest. I did pull this myself. And honestly, I'm not too invested in this card. I'm really just going to grade it just to sell it in the future. Okay, next up, actually, I might just pick up a bunch of cards and then that way it's a bit more of a surprise. Okay, so we have some XY Evolutions Love right here with this reverse holo Charizard. Unfortunately, I only noticed when I put this in the submission sleeve that the corner of the card is cut pretty badly. The rest of it is actually pretty good, but ugh, that one corner, I know that it's not going to grade that well because of that one corner, but it's a Charizard card, so it's going to do well no matter what grade it gets. So yeah, fingers crossed. All right, next up. Ooh, yeah, baby. We have some Dragon Ball love right here. If you guys saw the video, I pulled it from one box of Saiyan Showdown and that box was on sale for like a crazy discount. I think I only paid 40 bucks for it. So I don't know, man. Sometimes I get the best luck with discounted booster boxes. Absolutely insane. Okay, next up. Oh yeah, boy, look at that beast. Oh my goodness. Yep, <laughs> so beautiful together. So yes, there is one card missing in this set, the SCR Alt Art. I think it's maybe from an anniversary box. I have not been able to track it down for a decent price. So yeah, I really, really want to submit all three as a set. So if y'all can help a girl out and let me know if you have that card and if you're willing to sell it, please hit me up on Instagram because yeah, like I said, I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So yeah, that's going to look absolutely stunning as a set. Okay, so that was two. Let's see what we have next. <laughs> um, I think I just felt pregnant. You are now carrying my child. <laughs> Talk about an immaculate conception. Woo! All right, all right, all right. All jokes aside, Levi is honestly my most favorite character in Attack on Titan. His backstory is incredible and he has the most challenging and difficult life you could ever imagine. And he still manages to stand above it all, keep moving forward and he survived right until the end, which I was so relieved about. His strength and resilience is honestly such an inspiration to me, like no joke. And any sequence he's in where he's fighting and he's in beast mode basically, are honestly just, 
like some of the most peak animation you will ever see in your life. And speaking of Levi, I am trying to find this exact card in a 10, but I want it also signed by the English voice actor Matt Mercer. If I can find that, I will be able to die happy, honestly. That is one of my most holy grail chase cards. Okay, sorry for talking so much. I just am really passionate about Attack on Titan and Levi in particular. <laughs> okay, so I'll try to go through the bunch of cards a bit quicker now. So we have a Charizard EX. I pulled that. We have some Sky Ridge actually in here. So yeah, I just um, got a bunch of these from a store actually that just had a binder with all these random Pokemon cards in general. So yeah, a bunch of Sky Ridge. Okay, we're back to some Weiss Schwartz now. So we have some beautiful Card Captor Sakura cards. All of these I pulled myself. Oops, is that, yep, that's just one. Um, yeah, another Sky Ridge card. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot of these e-reader um, Pokemon cards are going for a pretty penny now. So when I saw that there was a folder just with a bunch of them, I snagged as many as I could that were in pretty good condition. So most of them I do intend to sell in the future. Oh, okay. We have a Radiant Charizard. I did just buy this as a single because I just thought it looked cool. And again, Charizards always hold their value. They're great investments. So yeah, I had to snag that one up. Oh, this card Captor Sakura card, so beautiful. I love the texture in the back. So pretty. And just in one of her iconic outfits with Kiro-chan, love that. Speaking of iconic, the iconic schoolgirl outfit. Really love this one too. This one's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, a lot of these are just um, rare Y Schwartz cards. They're not too um, crazy with the rarity, but they're just beautiful cards. So I want to grade them anyway. So I actually pulled this myself from um, the blister packs of Evolving Skies that were in one of the UPCs. I can't remember if it was the Celebrations one or the Charizard one. I think it might have been Celebrations. So yeah, I was actually really happy with that pull. Next up, another beautiful Card Captor Sakura card. I love the texture of the flowers in the back and I love that when you rotate it, it looks like the flower is kind of spinning. This one's absolutely beautiful. I think all the Card Captor Sakura ones, I'm probably going to keep. All right, we're onto some Dragon Ball now. This one is another really top tier SCR altar. I wish I could say I pulled this myself, but I didn't. I did buy this as a single, but I pulled the regular SCR version of this. Oh, okay, we got some more vintage Pokemon. So Dark Vileplume from the Team Rocket set. I would love to open some vintage Pokemon, but as you guys know, it's pretty expensive, but with good reason. But if I can find some packs for a decent price, I will consider opening some on the channel if I can find them. I do want to keep some packs sealed, of course, they're great investments as well, but I would love to feel that nostalgia rush of just opening just one vintage pack. So we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully I can find some for a decent price. Oh yeah, baby. Pulled this from one box of Beyond Generations that was on sale. Oh my goodness, still can't believe my luck sometimes. Yep, some more Sky Ridge cards. Yep, so that's that pile. Okay, another beautiful Card Captor Sakura card. And yeah, even some of these aren't even rare or hollow or anything, they're just a regular common card. But again, I just really like the artwork, so that's why I'm grading a bunch of them. Oh yes, so the Team Rocket Zapdos. This is from the celebration set, obviously, but still pretty happy to have pulled it. I think I actually pulled three of them. And with the celebrations unboxings that I have seen, I didn't see anyone pull this card. So I was actually very surprised that I pulled three of them. Uh, oh, this is a, yeah. So this is a world championship card from 2016. Again, 
just found it randomly in a shop's binder and just thought it might be worth something one day I'm not sure so I just decided to snag it up I actually really love this card I love the artwork in it this is also from Sky Ridge actually I think most of these are gonna be from Sky Ridge yep oh okay we're back to some card captor Sakura I told you guys everything was gonna be in here okay that's also a very beautiful card yeah, I think I have some duplicates that I'm submitting as well because I'm. it's hard to tell with Y Schwartz what will get um, good grading or not because they seem pretty well centered, but I don't know. I've never graded Y Schwartz myself before, so I don't know what things to look out for. So yeah, I'm just grading um, some duplicates. Yeah, this one's gorgeous as well. Absolutely love that. <laughs> yeah that one's cute too love that as well oh yeah Shaoran Kun and Sakura Chan so beautiful <laughs> more Sakura and Kira Chan oh Kira Chan so cute oops okay we're back to some Sky Ridge yeah I tried to um, buy ones that were in good condition but also had the star so that they were a bit more rare but yeah so this one I actually pulled myself from a random mystery pack of some Japanese Pokemon cards so yeah pretty happy with that and I didn't even realize at the time like how good of a pull it was <sighs> my boy Lugia I wish I could say I pulled this but I didn't I bought this as a single I did pull the non-gold version of it though so I think that is also in here for grading you know I have to grade this one Misty and Starmie yeah absolutely love the artwork in this card pulled this myself I know right now it's not really worth that much but again I intend to sell it so yeah hopefully it'll you know make me a bit of a profit hopefully Charizard GX I actually don't know which set this is from pretty sure I bought this as a single <laughs> Tomoyo-chan and Sakura-chan so kawaii <laughs> yes Lugia again Lugia V still can't believe I haven't been able to pull that Lugia altar but yeah I'm just gonna have to buy it as a single people but yeah, this one's beautiful too. I love the artwork of this, how he's coming out of the sea. So beautiful. I did not pull this. I bought this. And I was also gifted one as well. So thank you, Eric, once again. I did pull this one though, the ho -Oh, And I love that they look really awesome together. Let's see if I can... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks beautiful. So I'll probably grade them as a set even though they're not technically a set but they're both you know the legendary birds from gold and silver so they'll look very nice together and last but not least we have two Altaria cards and yeah honestly I just really love the artwork in this cards it's absolutely beautiful so cute and yeah I'm pretty sure I bought both of these as singles I didn't pull them myself but I know they're from Silver Tempest so yeah hopefully I think they both were yeah they're both pretty good on the back as well okay so that's actually everything I have for now <laughs> no doubt I will be adding more cards to this pile while I wait until I have enough to send off this submission and yeah I am missing just a couple of cards like I said like I need to complete this little trio right here so yeah hopefully I'll be able to send them off soon but yeah we'll see and of course when I do send them off and I get them back I will make a video revealing all of the grades and I think that'll be really fun so fingers crossed we get some black labels again I was very lucky last time so yeah fingers crossed okay the moment of truth so the winner of this beautiful sealed box of Saiyan Showdown is up here on the screen so congratulations mate I really hope that you pull an SCR from this set 
and please hit me up on Instagram and let me know your shipping info and I'll send it out to you straight away. All right, beautiful people, that was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. So yeah, hopefully I'll send off all of those cards soon to Beckett and that we get plenty of tens and hopefully some black labels. But yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one.